So in a session, when you're doing parallel pay, you are the peer. If you listen, you will learn a lot about what's going on in their world. And then you can intervene subtly by talking to yourself. Well, I wonder if it would be easier for me to get dressed in the morning if I had my clothes laid out at night because I have just heard this child going, I'm so tired of them always saying that I'm late. So the kid can hear what I have just said without me having to say, well, have you thought about putting your clothes out at night before you go? So you don't have to make the decision in the morning when you're stressed for time. So it's a way to indirectly confront. Reciprocal play. Who among us does not love and remember Eric Burns? In games, people play. You played reciprocally with somebody. Here, I will take this cup of coffee, and in, in return, I will give you this dollar. If you smiled or joked at all, is this dishwater? Has it been on this burner for six months? You have engaged in reciprocal play. They brought me these two brothers. They were just horrible children. He just got, oh please. When is your father's coming back for you? So we were going to play sorry. The idea in my toasted brain was that if they learned to take turns and played a game together with me as their guide in taking turns, then they would start the process of learning to be with each other without ongoing conflict. Well, that didn't last for very long. Now I don't have a sorry game in my office because I haven't replaced it yet. It was just a mess. The other side is a brother and sister. In reciprocal play. Do you think I worry about these? Do you see harmony there? If, if you can't see the slide, uh, we have a lion at a piano with a little girl who is obviously singing. I don't worry about these two. Thanks to Deborah Tannen's work, she's Georgetown. She's written a number of really wonderful books about communication, men and women. Uh, nine to five, I only say this because I love you. Are those your winning words? Well, I'm only going to say this to you because I love you. <laughs> yeah. Consider it fair warning. But we have found there was a study that was done that they put a group of people, of boys from age three to 27 in a room with two chairs. And they immediately set up the chair side by side and began to talk. They took the girls, 3 to 27, in the room with two chairs. They immediately put the chairs face to face and started to talk. So, when I want a boy to talk to me, I don't say, look me in the eyes. That's very confrontational, isn't it? Oh, when you look down. You bet. Look me in the eyes when you turn to me. Where have the boys heard that before? From a father? From a mother? It's very authoritarian. So if you want something out of a boy, do something side by side with them. If you want something out of a girl, it's tea party time. Face to face. 
We thought, we've also found that if there was a, a camp, this was an accidental study. These camp people, they had these two groups of children and it was, it was fast rolling into a, a group of lords of the fly. And they were afraid that they were going to have to cancel the camp and send these little people home because they were starting to really hurt each other. And as a last ditch effort, they assigned them a task where they had to have the cooperation of the other team in order to complete the task. And by the end of the day, the kids were actually friends and had learned conflict resolution skills. <laughs>